Welcome, chosen one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Ace of Plays channel. Today was gonna be a great day. We were gonna get a hot fix. Hidden Cash was gonna be put in his place. And Markham Forge was gonna get buffed. And I was so ready to play the lads. My boys. Now, one provision extra on the leader is not gonna fix dwarves. By any means. But they're still fun. And compared to how it's gonna be today, they would have at least had a little bit of a chance. But I'm still gonna do it. Because if I can get some good clips with this deck, I think it'll be worth it. Because this is actually a very fun deck, it's very cool. And yes, everybody's complaining dwarves have no removal. They'll never be playable because they have no removal. That's not the problem. The problem is that if a, if a deck, if an archetype doesn't really have access to removal, it should have access to other ways <laughs> to win. <laughs> like either like really efficient point slam or really good engines. You know, so you can like just out engine opponents and use your carryover magic to maybe get past that final hump. Dwarves, sadly, they took a massive hit because they were too good at some point. Mainly because of Mystic Echo, I would say. And now we are suffering from that, but we are still going to be playing Dwarves. It's still a cool deck. It has changed since last time. Uh, changes that I think are good. And let's get into it. First of all, we're trying the Enchanted Armor Stratagem. Just to go with the carryover theme. Uh, in, in round one, when people generally tr maybe go a little bit slower, uh, we, we may be able to keep up. But uh, three points of carryover can come in really handy when we're trying to keep up with people not holding back. Uh, what else is new? Yes, I took out the Dwarven Mercenaries, because, I mean, they're fine, like, 7 for 5, boom, point slam. And, you know, you could go for a more point slammy uh, Dwarf deck and include these. But I, myself, you guys know me, I love engines, and I think uh, Mock and Forge giving all your Dwarves to one armor would make Dwarves a really good engine-based archetype. So I took it out, and I put in one Mahakam Defender. Uh, just one. I'm sure we could run two. And maybe when the hotfix comes and we get that extra provision, I might turn a Mahakam Guard or Pyrotech into another Defender. Uh, but we don't have a lot of ways to boost this. We have Miners that can boost it um, on order, so right away. We also have Dennis Cranmer and Zoltan that can boost it after it's come out. And uh, Dryad Enchantress. This is a cool card. This is a card that saw no play prior to this. And now it's actually a pretty good card. Uh, just give vitality to an allied unit for the number of turns equal to its armor. So all our dwarves have one armor. That includes defender, so we can give him one vitality, and that'll, that'll boost him up. Unfortunately, vitality happens after normal abilities, so he wouldn't boost himself on that turn either. So that's not a good play. We will not be aiming for that. But we have dwarf berserkers, which in this deck will have five armor. One ping will happen, but they'll still have four armor, and we can play... Dryad Enchantress as a potentially 9 point play. And Berserker is a very safe card to do this on because of all that armor. Uh, other big armor cards is of course Zoltan Cheve, who will also have 5 armor in this deck. And he will not be spending his armor, so he will stay at 5. And then you can give him Vitality 5. And what's really cool, Vitality doesn't go away on resilient units when a new round starts. Uh, he'll lose his armor, he'll lose all buffs that are on him prior, 
But if he still has vitality on him and his resilience when the round ends, that'll carry over. So so that you know what I'm saying? So we, we have we have two resilient units because that's one of the best parts about dwarfs. They have resilience in a cool way. But we can give them the vitality. Of course Gabor will only have one armor, so not that much, but it's cool. It's an additional form of carryover. And of course we do have cars like Polly Dahlberg and Miner that can put extra armor on pretty much whatever we want. Uh, you could run uh, what's he called? Troubadour. Uh, you could definitely run Troubadour. And I did for a while, but uh, I needed more points and while uh, while these are maybe not the best cards, uh, you know, the going tall and all that, they're still very good. I tried going away from the row stacking aspect, but you lose a lot of points when you go away from the row stacking aspect. And we do have one armor at least on all of our dwarves, so I guess something like Lacerate only gets half value against us. And that's, that's what's cool about dwarves, like they have this row stack based archetype within them, but you can also kind of protect yourself from uh, row stack punishment. Anyway, we're up to two power technicians because I actually think this card is really, really cool. Um, just with the one armor that he gets from our leader, he's a five for four. Um, but it's also a nice way to just just use these armor giving units, just give him some armor and uh, he translates them directly into points, which is, which is really good. Just to have a, a simple, a very cool design uh, for provision unit that can turn that armor into straight up points. That, that's, just always, that's always nice. It's always nice. So that is the deck. It's it's very similar to last time, but uh, I, I really like the, the Dryad Enchantresses. I think that's a cool inclusion. And I do also think, like I said, I would like to play more engines in these dwarf decks. Uh, but I'm going to try with one Mockham Defender first, just because we don't have that many ways to boost it. But, yeah. I, I would definitely love more engines for dwarfs. But this is what we have. And uh, I'm going to try my best to get some good matches for you guys. Um, I'm not going to go for ones where I win only because I don't know if I will but as long as it's a close match and preferably against something that's not just meta cancer stupid uh, it, it should at least make for some interesting matchups and that's what I want to show you guys so thank you for clicking this video and giving it a shot I hope it ends up being satisfactory but uh, I've talked enough what are, no. why do I do this nine minutes come on Gameplay. Hurry, hurry, get to the gameplay. Let's go. Okay, Scoyatel Mirror, that. Allow me to play you an elven folk tune. Guerrilla Tactics. Alright, straight up something kind of interesting here. I like it. And come on, you can't tell me that it's not satisfying to just see that one armor on all your dwarves. It's so good. We have one carryover unit too. This is such a good card though. Special prize, just for you, love. All right. Uh, yeah, we we have no removal. We uh, we don't do that. We don't do that here. So, so, so dwarves, they need more. 
I, I don't necessarily want them to get more removal and more damage because I really like that they're all about boosting armor, being tough, being resilient, just standing together. Welcome! But I really think they need more armor synergy, they need more engines that are worth protecting with that extra armor. Because they have some cards. Like Resilience is such a cool mechanic that I think uh, they have really nailed with the Dwarves. I also think Dwarf Berserker is a cool card for armor. I think Pyrotechnician is such a fantastic card. Alright, so he's, he's going to be moving allies. That's usually the best way to go. So I, I, I am such a huge fan of how Dwarves are looking right now they need more they need more of everything but but the, the core that they have created uh like the, the the path that they're obviously taking with this uh this archetype i really like it i i'm such a huge fan and markham forge i've said this before under Fruits of Iskith and Ursine Ritual, this is my third favorite leader in the game. Huge fan. It's a shame we don't have an Enchantress. That would have been cool. But maybe for round two, we'll get it. Yeah, I get it. I, hate you. Cut you blind. I mean, that is good. That he he has a setup here that I am very afraid of. Oh God. Haha. <laughs> this is gonna be a scary one. I think maybe I just want to try to set up a defender. Uh, he might move it, but that's actually going to cost him so many points that I don't think he will. I think I'm just going to set up the Defender and Resilience and try to get out. Well, he did it. Six points. I'll go up to 23. He'll go down to 34. And then he'll go down to 33. I'll go up to 24. And I'll just need 10 points. I can do that. If he passes, I can... I can win by four. I can abuse my red coin. So we'll see if he takes his pass. I'm a little bit low. I always fix my webcam and then end up just having made it worse. He did take the pass. So, I mean, this is going to be 11, 12, 13. And I have, I have room for three units. Yeah, within our deck for two. Oh. This is good. This is good.
This is actually really, really good. The, the, I, I don't have a lot of faith, but the, this is definitely the spot I would like to be in for this. Um. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. We we uh. We got a good push. We we got some good stuff. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch this one. All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, th this is actually really good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, potentially. I take away two from that, that's eight. Okay, okay. This is really good. If this works out, like, I I know this isn't the most impressive matchup to pull something like this off against, but, I mean, look at what I'm playing. Look at what he's playing. I mean, this is just, I never thought I would say this in my life, but this is just two Scoia'tael players. Two bros. This is two Scoia'tael players in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. And it's not often you see that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I'm losing one. I mean, I, I think we can do something very magical and I absolutely love it. If he has a purify, it's gonna ruin it. But you know what? That's the chance. That's a, that's the that's the risk I'm taking. Uh, this thing that I'm about to do is it, it gets countered by a purify. That's fine. Don't know which is worse. That's so true. Humans above, beasts below. I hate both. I love dwarves. Oh yeah, I, ha I have this joke that I've been meaning to do for like a dwarf video. I'm gonna get into character. Oh shit, my chair doesn't go lower. I was gonna go like down here. My chair doesn't fucking go lower. Uh, he spent what is presumably his only purify, so I am very excited. For that. Am I gonna go for this? Now? Now or later? There's no way he has another Purify. Uh, he could have like a heat wave or something. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not expecting it. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna 2 him, which is good, because I don't want to. I wanna see... I wanna see the fruits of my labor here. I think you guys know what I'm about to do. Oh. Okay, so, so it is elf scenario stuff? That's good. Two turn scenario. I'm not gonna say I like it because I kind of don't, but uh, it's fine. That's that's okay. I don't care. Them to a man. All right. You must fight for the hills and the woods.
Alright, no scenario, I guess. Okay, okay, so it's not gonna be too well, but we bled him out of his card. A really good one. No mercy. <laughs> and we have resilience. Look at that. Look at that. Now yes, it loses its armor, so it's 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 a little bit Oh god. He's not good. He's a little bit vulnerable. But uh, it doesn't really seem like he's gonna... <laughs> Nine points of resilience. Nine points. Uh, we're only gonna get seven out of it though. But still, that's seven points of resilience. Hey. Luckily, I can fix that. I see. But then I can't play him. What what is best? Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't believe I pulled that off. Hey. Oh really? He didn't I kinda thought he would boost himself because he did get the armor and he did go to the melee row. Anyway. That was fun. I am so happy we just queued into something interesting. Cause if that had been a hidden cash. Uh, I know you guys want to see me beat hidden cash, and you would love to see dwarves beat hidden cash. I would too. I would too. But I honestly don't think it can be done. And that's why one is going to get massively nerfed, and the other one is going to get slightly buffed. Onward to victory. This is going to be uprising. We can't beat that either. But we can have fun trying to do it. Alright, dwarves. Humans lost after our ladyfolk. That ain't good. That is not good. I see things about this hand that I do like. I'm actually going to just straight up keep this. And again, look at his one armor on all my dudes. Hello. I'm so glad you're not just a stupid harmony card anymore. You're now a beloved member. Of dwarves. All right, that's mean. If he has another one of these, he can't kill it. But oh god! Uh, do we have any way to, to boost him directly? No. We can only we can only play some dwarfs <laughs> and hope it's enough. Hey, 
Xavier, my boy. <laughs> Save yourself. Oh God. Well, hey, right? It's all right. And now begs the question, do I go for Zoltan or him? I have one resilient unit. And I don't know if I should try to go for both here because I, I mean I know I don't want I want to win and I want to bleed him. And I guess just having both would be good. But also bleeding him and having one. We'll see. We'll see. If he has net decked uh, Team Leviathan Gaming, then there's a good chance there's a Peller in here. Even I kept that card in. Okay, no, good. <clears throat> I feel we should try to save this. I'm not sure. Oh, I could also red coin abuse him a little bit. I could spend my leader because I want to win and I want to bleed him out of his entire bullshit. This is how I play my Blaze of Glory deck a lot of the time. I use leader round one because... Especially when I'm on red coin because it allows me to... to just control round two so hard that... It doesn't matter. I'm just really hoping we can do the same thing here. So yes, he, he is going to get a lot of points. If I don't win, then I will have wasted two resilient units. Five, six, seven, eight. I can only fit one of my dudes. That's a shame. I hope he kills like a Roddy Dwarf, so I can fit both of these in. <clears throat> oh, he's going all in, though. That's another thing. Whenever I use my leader on one, it really... It really makes the opponent think that, oh, I can do that, too. And, oh my god, sometimes they can. Oh, no, 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 no. Zoltan, my boy. All right. Impressive, yes. Very impressive. <clears throat> That's not the one I wanted to be gone from that row, but we, we still have Gabor. Move on, lads. Look alive. We still have Gabor. Can we fight this? I don't think we can fight that. Because this is 10. Right, because it boosts by 4. So it's a 10 and I get 11, 12. 
so I'll go up to 61. And then he goes up to 64. And I go up to 67, 8, 9. It is enough. Alright. So I can't beat that. But, we pass. We're safe from a dry pass, so chances are... He spent all, his entire leader. And chances are he's not going to be able to get his card back. So at least there's that. <laughs> Come on, dwarves. They're lusting after a lady folk. Ah, oh, this is too exciting. He's going for it. And I have a dead card. Five six. Is he gonna get his card back? Oh, carryover matters. Resilience matters. This is like a tier two deck we're playing against. An actual meta report deck. I played this deck. I made it a little bit more ace friendly, but it got me to rank two. That's not very good. Vitality, though. Uh -oh. Muzzle. What are you? What? Hey. This is six points, and we're four points ahead. Oh God. Oh no. This dance, you will never forget. Are you? We've no need for your orders. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast. Two cool matchups. No cancer. I mean, that NR deck. That was a tier 2 deck. Tier two deck. A lot of good shit. A lot of good shit. But holy shit. That resilience really came through for us. We would not have been able to pull that off without the resilience. Yes! Oh, this deck. 
<coughs> God, I'm, oh. I'm actually kind of at a loss for words, so I'm just gonna say thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the buttons like subscribe, comment, uh, Patreon, if you feel so inclined. No pressure for that one. I know that's a that's a big deal. That's like an investment, like an, an actual investment, because you give money. So uh, no pressure on that one. Have a good one, guys. I don't know what happened to my voice. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm dying. <laughs> but yeah, have a good one. And I hope to see you again very soon. For more Hidden Cash Meta. Which we dodged today. It's like... It's like the lords. The gods above us. They looked down upon me and they saw... Hmm. This guy's... This guy's just wanting to have fun. Play dwarfs. Make a cool video for a bunch of nice people. Let's give him our blessing, you know? And, you know, some other god said, Hell yeah. Have a good one.